Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle 12C Release 1 database on your Windows machine. Oracle 12C Release 1 is the latest release for the Oracle database after the 11G R2. So the first step, you need to check some requirements for Oracle. For Oracle, you should have a 64-bit Intel or AMD processor. You should have a 2GB of your RAM and at least 10GB of your disk space available. If you are having all this, then you can go ahead with the installation. So the first step for the installation of Oracle is you need to check if you have Java installed on your system. If you don't have Java installed on your system, you can download Java from this website java.com en slash downloads and you can click on free Java and get the Java installed. I am already having the Java installed on my system. So let's proceed to the next step. The next step is you need to disable the user access control. For disabling the UAC, you need to go to the control panel and in the control panel, you need to go to user accounts. Just click on user accounts and click on change user account control setting. So it will prompt you for a warning, just click on yes and from here just drag down this cursor to below never notify and click on ok. So again it will notify just click yes and just close the control panel the third most important step is you need to edit the host files so the to edit the host files what you need to do is just click on my computer go to my computer and in the c drive where you have the windows installed click on windows folder and windows folder go to systems 32 folder and inside system32 folder go to the drivers folder you'll have an etc folder here click on etc and you'll have a host file so you cannot go and directly edit the host file what you need to do is just copy this file come down on the desktop and paste this and open this file with the notepad and once you open it just what you need to do is you need to add this to your host file just copy this and add this here and just say this here you are adding the machine name this is the oracle 12c and this is the fully qualified machine name with the, your domain name along with the machine name so just you can give whatever you want just click save close this file and copy this host file again and again go to this uh, path C Windows System32 Driver ETC and paste the file here. Just click on replace the file in the destination and click on continue. You have to do you, to edit the host file. This is the process. If you directly right click and try to open and uh, save the file here, it will give an permission error. So once it is here, you can see it is edited. As you can see it is added already so just close this and the next step is what you need to do is you need to download oracle 11g database to, sorry the 12c database so this is the website from where you can download this is the oracle.com in the download section for this you should have an oracle account it's a free account you can create the oracle account for free and from this url you can go to the download section and from the download you can click on this database and on the database this is the version which we are going to download the 12c enterprise edition just click on that and from there what you need to do is you need to select the user agreement and you need to select which operating system we have a microsoft windows so just just click on file 1 and file 2 and it will start downloading these two files once these two files are finished, we are ready for the installation. So I have already downloaded the two files, the first and the second file. So once you have downloaded, just right click on this and click on extract here and wait till the extraction is finished. Now go and extract the second file. Just click on extract here, don't extract in any other location. So this will also extract in the database folder. 
let's wait till the extraction is finished and then we can start the installation of Oracle 12c. So once your extraction is complete, just go to the folder known as database and click on the setup. Just double click on setup. So this will start your Oracle Universal Installer. Wait for some time till the Oracle installation window appears. So your Oracle Universal Installer is starting. So, so your Oracle 12C database is ready for an installation. Just uncheck this box and click next. It will give some kind of an warning. Just click on yes. And you need to select software updates. If you select this, you need to provide your Oracle support details. So just for the time being, skip this. So here are different types of installation. If you have an existing database, you can upgrade those database also. And if you want to install the database software only, you can so install the database software only. And after the installation, you can run the DBCA and install the database. But I'll show you how to create and configure a database also. So after the installation of Oracle database software is complete, it will uh, start the process for install creating a database. So just select this and based upon your requirement you can select any of this but in this video i'll show you how to install the database software and how to configure a sample database so just click first and click on next select the class which you are installing if you are using a windows server you can install it on a windows server my i'm installing it on a windows 8 desktop so i'm using a desktop class but uh, let me tell you that uh, it, the process which i'm showing it can be used for installing either on windows xp windows 7 windows 8 or even on your windows server so just select the desktop class i am having a desktop class that's why i am selecting the desktop class just click next so this is the new feature in the 12c you can also create an oracle user for uh, on your uh, operating system so you can type a user or I, either you can use the existing user so you need to provide the details here or you can create a windows uh, different new user I'll, I'll recommend to create a new user i'll give the name as oracle itself give a password for this and click on next that is this is the where your installation will be done this is your base directory in uh, C drive you'll have apps oracle this will be your base directory and this will be will be your home directory that is your db home in the same this is the base directory this is your home directory this will be the file of your aura data you can select whichever you want either the standard edition the enterprise edition anything which suits your requirement i'll select the enterprise edition and leave this default character set as it is and here you need to define the global database name i recommend that you use if you are using it for the educational purposes you, you leave this as it is and give a password for this just click next so this will do some prerequisite checks after the checks are complete the installation will start so let's wait till it finishes the prerequisite checks So your, all your prerequisite checks are completed. Now you can click on install the software. You can also save this as a response file. And by using the respon response files, you can also do an installation. That's a silent installation. Watch uh, If you want to know how to install Oracle using response file, you can watch my subscribe my channel and watch the video there. But I'll do a basic installation here. You just click on install. So this will start your installation and we'll wait till the installation is finished uh, sit back for a while because it will take some time to prepare and copy all the files now your database installation is completed and the oracle database configuration assistant is started 
So you are preparing copying files and the setup of the Oracle in software is complete and your database configuration assessment has started. So we'll wait till this installation is also this till this configuration is also finished. So it will create a database. So your database copying of database files is finished. So this will create and start an instance now. So let's fin let's wait till all the processes are finished. So once your database configuration assistance is finished, a new window will open. In this, you can click on password management and assign password to your Oracle database. So this is the password management. Click on OK and click on OK. So this finishes your Oracle installation. Now once your installation is finished, you can verify the Oracle installation. Now just open the command prompt and in command prompt you can type SQL plus and you can enter the username sorry and you can enter the password which you have given during the installation so this shows your oracle you can see that it is oracle to connected to oracle 12c so in this way you install oracle 12c which is the latest version of the oracle database on your windows system i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing please don't forget to subscribe my channel on youtube once again thanks for watching